LaSalle came out ready to go and they were playing us really tough, um, giving us their best, which we knew we were going to see that. I think it was not a lack of effort from us, but a little bit better execution. So looking to finish our shots um, in the second half, going in right away and then locking it down on defense. So we just needed to clean up a couple things and um, they really took that to heart and it made a big difference. It's great to have one 200-point person on your team, but you have two. What does that mean to have that quality on your team? Yeah, it's really, it's a really huge milestone and really impressive that we had two uh, hit it so close together in the same game, which was fun for them. Um, but knowing we have two huge threats, but also we had 12 other people put up, or I guess the 10 other people put up points today in this game. So knowing, yes, Arden and Frank can do a ton for us, but we have that um, seven woman offense where we know anybody can score, but really proud of both of them. Um, they've worked really hard to to get those numbers um, but also recognizing it's a, that's a team milestone for them that they're able to set up their teammates for assists their teammates are finishing um, to add those points and just exciting to have both of them hit 200. Plus Arden set the single season draw record with yeah. more to come. Yeah. Uh, she's been fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, Arden um, really just has put in a lot of work on the draw, so really proud of her driving and commitment to work on that skill, and I think that was something, um, you know, we've got different goals and things, and, and I knew that was something she'd been tracking on and was working towards, and um, so happy for her, and it's also, again, a, a team effort with, so, usually got Frank on the circle with her and Maggie O'Brien, but just, a phenomenal job by her racking up those draw controls. All right, you've got three games left in the regular season. Uh, Want to get as high as possible for the tournament. Your thoughts on the remaining schedule? Yeah, um, I actually I don't think I realized we weren't home again until senior day for our last game, but we're at GW at Davidson and home for Duquesne. So I think important for us to continue to grow and build. There's still things we can learn on from today's game and lots to learn from our last game um, down the road at JMU. So I think the goal is to continue to get better, um, better and better for each game so we're in our best spot possible going into the tournament. We had a slow start, but we knew we were working hard and we just had to find those connections and have our shots fall more. We were missing a little bit. And then they started to fall and we got some goals out of it and started getting on a roll. You guys, I think, finished up with 49 or 50 shots. Yeah. That's amazing. How yeah. Did that happen? Yeah, I mean shooting's awesome. Um I wish more of them went in, but uh we found our groove and I'm really happy that everyone got to get in there and get some shots in. Now it's amazing to have one two hundred point player on a team, but you mm -hmm. have two. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. Arden's my partner in crime. Um and we kind of talked about this and talked about this, um, like 200 points would be nothing without the rest of the team. Um, and we all share that. And I think it's just a great accomplishment to celebrate throughout the whole team and Arden as well. You have three conference games left. Yeah. Uh, I guess the idea is to finish as high as possible going into the tournament. Correct. Yeah, we're pumped. We're excited, confident going into these next three games and we cannot wait for tournament play. Yeah, pretty much. I think the first half we definitely we had the puzzle pieces, but the second half we really just put them together. Um, the defense was unstoppable, and I think on the offensive end we were just finishing and placing our shots really nicely, so it really came together at the end. All right, your afternoon, two goals, three assists, and 17 draw controls. Not a bad day's work. Yeah, not bad. Um, and said it in the locker room, but you know, like every point, every draw control, it's a full effort of all the girls on the field, so... My stat line's good, but I wouldn't be able to do it with all the people around me, so. And with your stat line mm -hmm. comes 200 points and the single season draw control record. Your thoughts on that? Um, like I said, I wouldn't be able to do it without, you know, the girls behind me. They make me better in practice every day. Um, they're just so supportive and um, want the best for each other. So I think, you know, just coming out here, having fun, um, that's the most important part. It's not about breaking all the records, even though it's a nice, nice addition. <laughs>
Uh, you guys have three conference games left. Mm -hmm. Now it's a battle to finish as high as you can, correct? Yeah, so we have three conference games left. Um, these past couple weeks, we've just been focusing on, you know, bringing the intensity of practice every day. So we're ready for the postseason and looking forward to A-10s.